Let's just have a quick look here. So I'm going mm. on itch. I'm going on jams. Brackets jam 2020 starts in two, two hours. hours. <gasps> okay, anybody want to collaborate with us on a Brackies jam? Oh no, Claire, don't. <laughs> See, Z is totally up for it. Then Nick, Nick, what about you? Yeah. Sorry, Chris, I shouldn't have mentioned jams. <laughs> yes, you are responsible <laughs> for the epicness <laughs> that is to come of this. So you're serious? Yeah, we're not going to have much time to do another jam. No, so this this is it, you mean? This is the final jam, This guys. is the final jam. And apparently next Saturday morning, we're going to be like a jam deadline. <laughs> That's going to be fun. We're going to be like sitting here like, oh, we're submitting it right now in seven days. So like, oh my god! Yeah, because it's ending in seven days, so that Yeah, be... so we'll be ending in like, yeah. Right on the next dream schedule. Exactly. In the end, everyone who managed to finish a game and has fun is a winner. This is what jams is all about. Oh yeah! <laughs> Nick says joining streams is dangerous because yes, it is. it is. We have decided to participate in the Brackies game jam. Uh, so that'll be an interesting turn of events. A few minutes ago, then theme was announced just as we walked out the door. Theme is rewind. We're working together with Nick and Z. So this is also the first time we'll be participating in a team for a jam. So we'll be the four of us jamming together. And at the moment we're trying to also figure out the logistics of how we're going to do Git and collab and... All the good stuff. But as you can hear, we're pumped. Yes. Today will be a focus on planning the jam theme, figuring out what we're actually making. This is what we do on anniversaries. Oh yeah, this is the best type of anniversary. Everyone's we're... just like, yeah, we're just gonna take a chill. We're like, nah, we're gonna play a game jam. <laughs> do the thing you love the most, right? Yep. Messages from Nick and C keeps rolling in with lots of ideas. Hello. 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 Sorry for leaving you guys hanging. You guys sent 130 messages or something while we were gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got quite inspired for a bit. So. Okay, we, we got lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff? I'm not sure if Z is going around tidying <laughs> up or just messing things up. Both. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do this. I rewind it. See? Oh, he's rewound oh, it. No. <laughs> we should make a coding game and rewind it. But like, um, if we're going into like the territory of wind, like an atmospheric game, where it's just like, it's chill and relaxing, routing sailboats around in a fjord. And that's the idea we landed on. After a long brainstorming session, we wrote up a game design document, gathered some inspiration and called it a night. It's day two and the race is on. And for day two, well, we're just gonna get cracking with our Trello board, right? Yes. We will be working on implementing water physics and buoyancy, so the boats feel alive. We found this really nice tutorial by Tom Wayland. Not sure it's quite there yet, but we're getting somewhere. Meanwhile, Z's been working on pathfinding for our boats, so they can avoid obstacles in the ocean and navigate a really nice race path. We love our shaders, so we need something better than a flat plane. But I think we got things a bit sideways. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Uh, I'm struggling. I'll fix it. <laughs> we're, we're rubber duckies here too. Maybe I can talk to him. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been struggling a lot in my head with like having the different weather effects, like the tornadoes and rain and lightning, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, how they're going to be used by the player if not like not used? Because that's a concern I have. Like, what if the players don't use them? And maybe add in too many different like mechanics for them to try and learn might be a bit overwhelming. Maybe the player only uses the wind and the other weather effects are like randomly spawned. That is what we were just thinking exactly. about. Exactly. <laughs> which means that we have one core player mechanic, which is spawning the wind. Yes. Yeah. Which matches the theme pretty well. Okay, that's that's cool. That's that, great. That, that was easy to that agree was easy, on. Yeah. Oh, sure. We're going to have this like in-depth discussion about this. Uh, like, <laughs> oh no, that's the baby's on problems. Uh, Efficiency. We pulled in changes from Z and we got a boat in the race. Who is going to win in this sailboat race? Is it going to be the wind? Is it going to be the obstacles? Or is it going to be that really crappy water shader we just made? We got some room for improvement <laughs> there. But at least, you know, we have the basic game kind of working. Well, not the gameplay, but racing boats. Day two, it started to actually feel like a game. Z was really busy, it started working on this like system to make little boats follow a nav mesh agents that walk around the path. And yeah, so we have like this um, double follow chain system going on. Uh, it's a bit of a strange solution, but it seems to do the trick. Z also added in a random invisible water spout, which suddenly makes all of the boats go a little bit bananas. bananas. Nick was busy working on uh, making our race overview functioning. That's actually quite a bit more challenging than it first looked, but yeah, it's functioning now. It is. 
but Nick is live streaming his work session. So we're just gonna jump on a call quickly with him and see how he's doing. And he's trying to get to 50 followers. So we're gonna try to support him in that process. Okay, so if I would put like a collider in here, uh, it will try to go around it. Yeah, basically, but you need a uh, knob mesh obstacle script on it as well. Yeah, but what about, for example, if you have a situation where a water spout is carrying a boat away? Yeah. Shouldn't the nav mesh agent potentially be following after? Well, it depends on where the boat lands, I suppose. But uh, I, I think ideally, yeah, the agent should find a better position. Long story short, our boat should be able to be carried away by weather effects. And we're kind of worried that our daisy chain setup might not work out as nav mesh agents are not affected by physics. So I think Z so have to get to reworking that tomorrow. It's day three, or is it four? I'm losing track already. The water spots are no longer invisible, but uh, big black capsules. We've been working all morning and we're giving the player the ability to place down wind zones to affect the boats. I've also been pulling in Z's changes and he's figured out how to use the nav mesh from the physics boats without having an agent. But it's still a bit buggy. I'm watching you. Yeah, you. We're looking at you. No, you're not Mr. Pips, but we're still looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Clara's imitating the wind today. I think we need to get back to work. We've got these water spouts shooting things everywhere. Gonna have a little call with the crew and see how they're doing. So what it does here, I created this table and the scroll view and, and you might want to change that, maybe me. What do you think, Thomas? I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You've uh, so, done a lot of work in one evening. Yeah, that was my goal, right? How's the work going on the Boyd Sea? I just finished them, actually. I'm uh, experimenting with the values right now. No way! He finished Boyd's. Yeah, but I'm not sure if it's working as intended yet. And it's day four. Uh, it's only a few days left. <gasps> We're more halfway through the jam, and yep. we have actually got the gameplay kind of working. Yep. I mean, it looks very prototypey. I mean, there's boxes all over the place. It looks like an absolute mess, but that's what we've got the next few days to just refine it, make it nicer, fix some bugs, and test that if it builds. We haven't actually made a build yet. We should we probably do that. We should probably do that. So let's get cracking on the visuals for today and see what we managed to get. See what I did there? Going to spice up our wind boxes a little bit so they're not black boxes to make some nice wind streaks. Trying to figure out the unity particle system. And we got nice little streaky streaks. Look at them go. You can make small ones and you can make big ones. Been discussing with Z and Nick how we should lay out the track. We need to make it a kind of straight line so you can't cheat with two powerful shortcuts. Been collecting some placeholder assets for our environment. I see that I'm only using four of these measures, so that will keep the game quite nice and light. But I think I'm going to be replacing these meshes with my own ones, maybe tomorrow. Okay, I think we need to play test a little bit. Okay, I'll see you doing <laughs> Oh, it works! Oh, that is so much fun. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fine! I love those moments. Fine. I think we're onto something, because we're going to be sitting here laughing when we're testing this game. That's awesome. We realized we need to make the, it obvious what the path is to the finish line. So working on putting some texture onto the water. Um, we actually taken inspiration from Age of Empires 2, where they have like deep and shallow waters to indicate it. Wow, since like sea's tornado is really shaping up. Wait, 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 Claire, take a look at it now. That looks so neat. So I'm currently doing some UI work for the game, such as the credits and the results page as I'm hoping to get the results page finished and nailed so I can send it off tonight to Nick so we can integrate it into the game itself. I really like the designs, by the way, Claire. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to implementing them. Good morning. Good morning. It's day six. It's getting close we're, to the end. We were so busy that we didn't record yesterday. I know. But man, the game is making progress. Yeah, and it's looking super, super sweet. We've got menus in, we've got tornadoes, which look absolutely awesome. I mean, there's thousand and one things in, like, you know, we have an entire list here, you know. We had a really good morning call with our teammates. Yep. Zeke's been on the ball, Nick's been on the ball. And yeah, man, this game is shaping up. It's looking good. Yesterday, I spent working almost the entire day on the ocean shader. I spent too much time. I was trying to, like, yeah, okay. But you know, Krister loves his shaders. Yeah, it's time so. consuming and fun. <laughs> And C spent a lot of good time on working on the water spout. Now it's just so much fun to play around with it that we don't, we don't want to get rid of it. As we don't want to have ass. less of it. Yeah. Should we just have only them in the game? Because that's what we're yeah. questioning ourselves right now. Like, do we want only lots of tornado water spouts? Or do you want to have more weather effects like we initially planned? So yeah. what's more fun in the gameplay? We're trying to play and 
It's a hard choice. And not all of us are just like, yeah, just the water spouts. It's so much fun, like moving them around and having them like, <whistles> yeah. But now we have a problem where all our boats decide to go on top of land, so. We need to fix that. We need to fix that. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to get cracking on today's work, are we? Let's get started. Working on a new sailboat model. Found some really good references for racing sailboats, but they all have broken meshes and 2i detail for a low poly game. It actually took me only about 40 minutes to model our own one. Now we just need to program that the sail changes color to fit the player. But I think Z still got some work to do on those physics. That's some pretty wobbly boats. Oh, and the tornado is here. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Claire seems excited about our new sailboats. Oh, this looks amazing. I love how you made like the sails, but like curved. Actually, I think we really need to get some sound effects in. Three, two, one. Go! That's maybe a bit interesting. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Boat four, kind of finished. Boat five, finished. Boat six, give it up. Boat seven, finished. Boat eight, finished. We have a dog in the background. Ah, poop. <laughs> you just need to redo it, really. Maybe from five. Okay. Boat eight, you got a bit slow. Boat nine, you're finished. Boat ten, <laughs> doesn't exist. Boat ten, not found. Um, for error, for error. Oh, oh, can we record some? Oh no, that we can do on when high velocity flying through the sky or something? Yeah. Oh no! Boat astray! <sighs> Our pizza's ready. Our pizza's ready. Time to eat. Time to eat. Sorry, Mike. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mike. Nick's been pretty busy this morning. He's on the Turnal stream and he sent him an early build of the game to play live. Is that 200 people watching right now? It's not ready. All right, let's take a look at the settings menu. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, what's this? <laughs> This is, this is a disaster so far. Oh, credits work. Well, I'm glad the credits work. All right, look at these guys. Make sure you follow them on like everything. Wow, they, they've each got their own website. That's cool. Thank you for playing. Jokes on you, I haven't played yet. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Ooh, I like the perspective. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do though. What's happening? I'm the camera. Oh, is this like a real time strategy game? Ooh, what's this? Oh, this makes the direction of Ah, okay. Oh my goodness me, I'm already stressed. I like the orange ship though. I'm going to take control of this one. This guy is going to win. I've decided to put all of my faith in sailboat number two. Wow, he is partying. Also, he seems to have a lot of water in him. I think he's getting flooded. That's a bit of a shame, but he's gonna win because he's orange and I happen to be racist towards orange things. All right, I think he's won. Oh, or has he? <laughs> Onwards we go. <laughs> um, okay, well, um, what can I say about this game? I'm not sure what to do. I don't know what's going on. It looks a bit interesting. Some of the boats seem like they're having a much better time than other boats. But anyway, I have no idea what to do. Um, <laughs> so that's my biggest problem with this game so far. I hope you had a tutorial. <laughs> Well, that was some epic live feedback. Thank you, Cherno. Uh, yeah, I think we need a tutorial screen. That's next. Good morning, world. It's morning. day, final day of the jam. Tomorrow is submission. Only one day and three hours remaining. <gasps> Had a bit of a rough night. Didn't sleep much. Said good morning to the team this uh, morning before we went off walk with the dogs, but we have lots of work remaining. Nick's away today, he's picking up his doggo, so yep. we're down the team member as well. But I think C will be quite productive, and we're trying to be productive. Yeah, we are. Unless I fall asleep. We only slept for like five hours. Yeah. So... Gotta get a good night's sleep before tomorrow's stream. Yes, we'll be doing the finishing touches. The entire team has been super productive today. I've been working on the tutorial screen. See, it's been making a lightning cloud which shoots boats forward with fire on impact, so that's really awesome. I've been busy working on making a game restart, but that seemed to cause some side effects for a while, uh, spawning hundreds of crates in the ocean. That was pretty fun to play around with though. Nick said he couldn't work today, but he's getting set up in the office now, ready to stream his session. We actually need help from him, so we're going to put some last minute tasks on him. Poor guy. If you don't mind, this will be my final commit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will be. Probably will be. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got your changes, Nick. Okay, let's make a build. But it takes quite a while, though. Okay, I'll, I'll just carry a laptop to bed, if you don't mind, then. <laughs> you, you probably should. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. I guess I'll end it here. Thank you so much, and good night to everybody. And good, good morning. morning! Good morning! Hello, guys! Hello, Hello Friar!
Hello, Nick. Hello, Smithy HQ. And hello, Blooms. Hello, Blooms. Oh. Still debugging. Oh, it's um, it's intensive. No, I, I feel pumped though, but uh, we're having some issues. Because, the game doesn't uh, finish. Yeah, when you enter the finishing line, the race is supposed to finish. Uh, yeah, nothing happens and just throws lots of errors. But it doesn't happen in editor, but only in build. So and uh, sure. we can't debug this on stream, I don't think. So because we can't build. Uh, our teammates Nick and Z are on the case. On the case. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel nervous for it. Yeah. So but like excited nervous. Excited nervous. Yeah. It's a seven day jam. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? We're doing great. So there's a little game about sailboats where you're supposed to rig the race so that the race comes in the right order but uh, the weather is out to get you. Uh, the game is supposed to get the boats arrive in order 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But Clara doesn't do the order. Boat 9, you're finished. Boat 6, finished. Boat 8, you got a bit slow. Yeah, your boat 8 was going a bit slow. I know it was, I was. Uh, we, we're getting see. some Discord messages coming in now saying about some null reference AI exceptions. Controller. Z and Nick's busy debugging. I'm My gonna idea. trust our teammates that we're gonna manage to get this finished. The voices are confusing. I can't tell if it's stream Claire or game Claire talking. <gasps> <gasps> you know, it's a bit of both. Only three hours and 41 minutes, you know, just say. We were hoping to have a build published yesterday that was fully functioning. <laughs> and nobody decided so to test a, it. <laughs> so we had a fallback and we didn't test it properly. Uh, okay, join, join call. call. Hello! Welcome <laughs> to the stream, Nick and Z. Hello! Hello! Good having you here. Okay, how's it going guys? Tell us, give us a rundown. Well, it's uh, fixed. Oh! I got a working build now in WebGL. Nice! Oh, that makes me That's so happy. Awesome. I think we might as well call you to tell you in person, you know? If this yeah. is submittable, then... Oh, That's that is, fine. That's that fine. is yeah. good. Oh, I, I'm so relieved that you guys fixed this bug. I think WebGL runs entirely on duct tape and pixie dust. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that. <laughs> This game gets a seal of approval. Oh, what You'll a have seal. a whale of a time. Whale of oh, a time. <laughs> this master is the pun master today. <laughs> the, the jam is finished. The jam finished two minutes ago. We're out on Dogo Trip. Epic stream this morning. We did. Yeah. And chaotic. We didn't know if the error was going to be fixed, but see Nick. You guys are epic. Danny decided to play our game during his last stream. So that was an epic surprise. So this is by Snooty, Cetrax, and Nick. Nick's a cool dude. Snooty's also cool. Uh, start. Let's go. Oh god, more instructions. I'm so bad with these. Make the boats reach the finishing line in ascending order. Ascending means up, I think. So, I've got that going for me, which is pretty good. Let's just go. Oh, this is cute. Okay, um, okay, so we can move the wind like this. Dope. Oh god, this is- oh, this is tricky. No, wait! <laughs> oh, I killed the boats! Wait, shit. Uh, oh no. Okay, go this way. Yes. Okay, so number one, we want him in first. It looks really legit. Yeah, this is well made. Oh, maybe we should go full screen. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I just don't know where the goal is. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, you throw the wind at the boat. Boom. Pretty cool. Scatabush. Get over here, Mr. Boat Guy. Hell yeah. Okay, so we'll get one and two in the goal. Oh, two is almost dying. That's not good. Okay, so get one in first. I can count. I can count to 10. Yeah. One. One finished. Yeah. One finished, boys. Haha, <laughs> boat cobr. Boat two. Finished. Okay, gamers. Uh, Number three, you come with me. Come on. Get out of there. There you go. This is a cool game. I like it. I like how they interpreted the theme. Like rewind. Three, wind. Finished. Rewind. Okay. We're good. We're good. Number nine. Stay out of here. Boom. Finish. And then we got six, then we got seven, Boat six, finished. and we got eight, Boat. and nine. Race over. You're finished. Boom! What's up? Did I do good? I think I did good. Total score, 1,870. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so we got everything in correct order. Thank God it didn't go up to ten, because I can only count to nine. So, that was a close call, gamers. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was cool. Game design, very good. Uh, audio, top tier. I love the audio. That was really good. Graphics are also adorable. Uh, the theme, yeah, perfect. Innovation, yeah. I haven't seen a game like this before. Fun, definitely fun. Yeah, good game. Gamers. Thank you, Danny. That was epic. 
After the jam was submitted, we had lots of awesome and constructive feedback. We've also been playing a lot of awesome, cool games which have been made for the Brackies Game Jam. And if you want to rate our game, be sure to check out the link in the description. Thank you so much, Z and Nick, for taking part in this jam with us. We wouldn't have been able to have made it without you, so thanks, guys. And let us know down in the comments down below if you want a tutorial on how to make this ocean shader. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this crazy devlog of our week-long game jamming, because we sure loved every single moment of it. And you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. Smash it if you like. And until next time. Soon soon. Bye.